the ABC News and current affairs for more than a decade. She's covered extensively for local, state, and federal politics, including Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and multicultural affairs. She's also reported on high-profile court cases and major disasters. Nicole is happily married to another Christian journalist, Michael Corfio. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicole Butler. Um, 13 years ago, the then Vice President Gloria Aurora remarked, it's up to us, women of the world, to move together so that we should all move forward. Let us make womankind proud of what we shall accomplish. And indeed, the people you see on the stage tonight will make you proud. They're the people whose inspiring minds, drive, determination and sheer skill have enabled them to overcome the many obstacles that a life and business can deliver and soar. They're the women making outstanding contributions to Australia's multicultural society and enriching our way of life. And through their dedication and achievements, they're helping others to learn to respect individuality. So tonight, I'd like to welcome the nominees and all of you who support them. And a very warm welcome to our special guest tonight, Her Excellency, the Philippine Ambassador to Australia, Belen Onota. Minister for Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander and Multicultural Affairs and a Minister assisting the Premier, Glenn Elms. <laughs> Mr. Allen and Mrs. Wendy Grummond, the Honorary Consul General for the State of Queensland. <laughs> Brisbane City Councillor and Multicultural Chair, Angela Owen Taylor. Um, and now, to begin tonight, we'll begin with an invocation from Father Marcel Simpson. 